when I can push hard, go heavier in a session, that feels like a really good workout. Leave, it's worth it. Hey, I'm Kristen. Today was an awesome leg day. Um, the goal is to compete in June and July and get that pro card this year. Getting to the gym, I like to get a really good sweat on and when I can push hard and go heavier in a, in a session, that, that feels like a really good workout. Most people do this band work, and it's just like a squat where you stay high. So when she's doing this, the whole idea is to stay down here so that you emphasize on the outside of the glutes and keeping the tension like that. For most people, like on a squat, instead of you know, squatting low, they, they do this stuff. And you'll see all the time the girls have their bands on and it's like, what are you really working? The burn is good. So we're gonna do ham and glute raises. Most people in the gym like to go get the little bar, but that's not what I let my clients do because they're I make them do it real. So the key to this is keeping your torso straight. So she's gonna control the descent, catch yourself, and push it up just enough to come up. So you don't wanna push yourself so hard that you'll come flying up. And then, go ahead and go down. So right about here, the hamstrings oh. take over on that. And it literally feels like you feel the strings of your hamstring. So basically what we're doing when we're stepping back, we're creating deficits, which means your hip goes below your knee. So you're getting a greater range of motion than when you just do regular lunges. And then on the step up, you're working on the lower outside glutes. If you want a greater range of motion that you can't get just on walking lunges, this is a great way to do it. up as a chunky little girl and decided um, as I got older that I just wasn't going to live that lifestyle anymore. So I used to hide myself down a lot, um, but working out, it really gave me true confidence and so it comes out genuine and strong. So this is one you definitely cannot rush, just working on stability, and again we're going to use a single leg, so it's not like a regular barbell or dumbbell stiff leg where you can cheat a little bit with it. This is going to isolate it, you can't go heavy on it. At this point, are you at like the peak of your endorphin rush, or what are you feeling right now? Tired, but full of energy at the same time.
actually my husband helped me get into fitness. Well, he's a firefighter and I didn't really know what I was doing in the gym and so he, he took me and worked, you know, walked me through some workouts to get me started. Watching my body change and losing the weight and not being heavy anymore and it really built my confidence up so I, just, I fell in love with it and now I'm, I'm probably at the gym more now than my husband is. <laughs> So the thing with leg day is you gotta learn to love day, leg day. And when you have clients that are driven, they love leg day. So for me, when I start with a new person, guess what your first workout is? It's leg, leg day. day. Because I can measure you as a person and say, okay, how, is this person gonna be driven or not? Because you look through any gym anywhere, you can tell who comes to work. They got legs. It's not just a show muscle. But I mean, if she's walking away and you can tell that those legs are working, that's worth the effort right there. weights away. Please. Is this why you love it? Yes. 100%. I may not be able to walk later, but it's totally worth it. <laughs>